da, 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 da. Do, do, do. Yes, I have made Newberry out of the Lego sets that I have. Oh, well, hidden side Lego sets. And also some few extra sets. So I'm going to show you all of the sets, um, plus the artifacts. So let's get into it. First up is obviously the um, haunted, school, the paranormal school bus three three thousand. Um, for me, this is uh, broken. Do you hear? But that. Um, just like if it exploded or something and that's why it's paranormal because all these paranormal bits had to be added on it to fix it like uh, this movable lamp instead of it being stuck to there it's immovable and um, here maybe there was something here but now there isn't that's probably not the case I don't know what school buses look like and here there's the cool bus so oh yes very cool. <laughs> yeah, these aren't all the sets. So, uh, yeah, just remember that. Uh, okay. Well, inside the school bus, there's... Uh, actually, I can just do from here because you can actually take it out. And this is for the people who don't have the sets. So if you do have the set, you can still watch this video if you want to. Hmm. So this is um the like, gun thing. This is the uh phone, and then this is the artifact I put in here. Well, actually, this was two, but then this is another one. It's like a little um knife thing. This is um a megaphone or whatever it's called, and here there's these things being played on here. This looks like um a a ghost scatter scanning for where ghosts are then this looks like um a video game or some sort of maybe like um a boss fight thing where you're playing as like a giant robot so i'm going to just uh slide that back in it's been ages since i did some of these real life videos hasn't it i think the last one was like uh what was it fnaf plush Okay, so the next thing is the Newberry Ghost Lab. Yeah, I put an egg in here from uh, a Minecraft Lego set. Um, this is the general set. There's um, a gloom potion there. I believe there's a gloom potion. Mm -hmm. I can believe it's a gloom potion. And not um, another potion or some sort. I think it's a potion that literally stores gloom in it. And that's why JB has it. Maybe JB created glut. No, JB is not a bad guy. Good JB. Okay. Um, she's experimenting on this egg, as you can see. But then around here is Douglas hiding JB's phone. Here, which is something I'm probably going to make a theory about. Is like um, and I'll bring it closer. Um, like a skeleton head it's like a skeleton and then a brain inside of it so it's like showing the brain I think it's like oh, you can see a green bit in there so I think it's investigating where the gloom comes into your brain and I think it's saying like uh, what parts of a brain it affects and I have no idea what the numbers thing are Things are. I'm probably going to make a whole video, yeah, or maybe a series about um hidden side theories. Okay, the door, um, the um, the fire truck or Sweet Sally Junior. This set uh, is very good actually. Ch -ch FBI, open up! Yeah, this. I'll show it in this form, and then I'll create it, and I'll make it into a mech suit. Oh, um, yeah, this is the little Shadow Walker guy. At first I thought Shadow Walker was, like, the name of a character from Star Wars. But, um, I think I was getting mixed up with, uh, 
something else. And no, this that name is um, originated from Hidden Side, I think. You can also open these bits to get a yellow bit. Oh yeah, here's a fire extinguisher. Rick Burger guess. Okay, here's also an axe, which was um, which is very nice. I like that, especially with the robot character here. Oh yeah, and this is one of the other sets. I'll get into the other sets when I get to them. I'll probably do that one after this one. Actually, two, two of those after this. Um, there's these cannon things here. I'm gonna keep on black because that seems more suitable. Um, here is JB in her ultimate mech suit, and here is a. Uh, I'm gonna call him R. Uh, um, Seaboard TV, but I like calling him R two D two. Um, and JB can also JB's thing can also hold things like uh, the fidget spinners. There you go. Can it actually hold? No, I don't think oh, it can, but that'd probably be, that probably wouldn't be nice. So, back kicker. Yeah, I have a whole, um, two cabinets of, uh, Lego. But most of it's, these are all of my hidden side sets. I didn't leave any of them out. Well, my, some of them, I, no, I didn't leave any of them out. So, um, here is... Um, a poly bag, Chef Enzo's um thing. Ta da! There's not really much in here. It can turn upside down to get an evil version. That's cool. Um, but not really much else. And here, this is one of my fun made sets. Oh yeah, this is from a poly bag as well. It's the cannon. Now um, this is from something I got um at an arcade. Can it's not real Lego. But it's something I thought would be good. Yeah, it looks really weird inside, so I'm not going to waste my time showing you inside. Um, come on, stand up. Yeah, and that came with a... This thing came with a police car. Like a police car set. I forgot what the... Oh, there it is. Um, okay, um, and this is a robot... Uh, and this is the cannon. At first it came with Douglas, like skeleton version, but the I don't know where I went now and that's the Now this is the mine. Uh this uh, I don't think well actually I think this guy comes from the subway set. No, I don't have that. This is the this came from a ma from a magazine. Yeah, this came from a hidden side magazine. And then I decided to put him here. There you go. There we go, Mr. Miner. Um, you can just... I just put a lo load of random Lego bits that I have um, here. Uh, yeah. Now, to get onto the, uh, the better one, bigger ones, um, the carnival set. Okay, first, I'm going to put this... Oh, yeah, I put the balloon there. Oh, uh, these... If you're wondering where these bits came from, they came from a Minecraft. They came from a piggy Lego set, like a fake one, not a real one. So over here is a. There, I call him a Little Joe and Big Frank, Tall Frank. So Little Joe over there is a. I'm gonna get a bit closer. Little Joe over there is um, selling tickets, as you can see. Big Joe over here. Or tall Joe, yeah, I'll call him Big Joe. The big um Frank up here is um is it waiting for people's other turns um on the I'll call it uh, ha friendly coaster. But yeah, this place is Happy World, by the way. Um, this is Parker, and she's riding down here, and then she goes into the hands. Um, yeah, um, but you can also change it to be like, uh, this, which I'm probably going to keep it as, 
because otherwise they'd probably shut down the ride if they knew, if they saw that. So I'm gonna put Papa right there. Ugh. Yep, there we go. And up here, um, this thing is broken, so now, now I'm pretending it's like um a show thing. Someone, so someone stands on here, like this little one stud bit, uh, the little one stud bit there. Um, and then they get flip it up. I'll just show you what happens when you flip it up. I keep it's like, and then the um thing opens. There's also these red lights here. I don't know what they're for, but they're nice, so I keep them there. Baba da, baba da. Okay, um, I think that's all for that set. Okay, so now I've got to go around here. Oh, hello, Jesse. No, Jesse? 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 You want to go through here? Yes, there, there we go, Jesse. There we go. Uh, okay. Um, here's Douglas, and um, like skeleton Douglas, um, in his airplane. It looks different than usual because um, because my brother's friend um came and changed it a bit, tried to do something, and then he forgot how it went at the front. So now it's like this. I I also have another set like an airplane. Um, I will show it after this one. So Douglas is here. This set is always is definitely one of the. It's definitely one of the good ones. Actually, I should. I'm gonna rate. Wait. Should I rate these? Um. Okay, I'll rate these. Set like the sets that I have, like one out of ten to ten out of ten. None of them are gonna be one out of ten. Jess, do you want to go in here or out of here? I take that as. Uh, I don't care, I just want to wander around because I have nothing else to do. So the school bus, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. What? I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Um, and, oh yeah, um, this is like what I have of it. So like this bit broken. So this bit was broken, um, that doesn't, that doesn't affect the score. So, um... But like, if, if you may, it's not really that realistic. So maybe, so like, if you could pull this down, but then um, if this bit wasn't here, then maybe it'd be a more a bit more realistic. And also, because then um, because then uh, yeah, that'd just be a better bit. Um. And then if that was fixed, it'd be a nine out of ten. But then um, I don't really see why it should be with a construction site over there. Because um, like even the um, it's from the set. Like, couldn't you make then a separate? Okay, um, I won't count that. But um, okay. Now I have to think of something else. Oh yeah, um. Why are these iron bars? Like, why are these bars? And also, you could have made it... A... Well, actually, I don't think they could have made the actual inside of the bus, so um, I won't count that. But the bars, that just looks weird. I mean, my brother even mistook it for a, um, for a prison bus. So, apart from that, it's good. Apart from that, this set is good. And it's an 8 out of 10. This one... Well, um, it looks nothing like the normal thing. I mean, it's really, it's quite small and it doesn't look a lot, it doesn't look anything like in the set. But, um, like, and it, even the character doesn't make sense. Like, um, it, it, like, Gloom's Douglas, he doesn't even get gloomed in this. I mean, you could have at least done that in the, um, the, um, what's it called, uh, high school, but, like, why would you do it in this set? So, um, I'll give it a 7, or maybe, I'll give it a 7 out of 10, 
Right, none of these are going to be anywhere near 1 out of 10. Not all 2 out of 10. Because I'm not that mean. I mean, all of these sets are great. And they're unique in their own way. But it's just, there's some things that could have been fixed. And some things, well, they don't need to be fixed. But this one, um, 9.5. Oh, wait, that problem was fixed. Well, I'm maybe... Okay, 9... I'll give it a 9 out of 10. I'd give it 10 out of 10 if you could, um, actually... I, I don't really think you can to make it look good, but if you can make it so it actually looks good, then, um, you can take this off and then put it back on, like, really easily. And it look and smoothly, like, um, taking the top of this off. Uh... Yeah, like taking that off. You can do that really smoothly. And that's what I like best about when you take that off. Actually, um, what did I... I think I gave this an 8. 8.5 because of how smooth that taking off... Because of um, how you can take that off. Okay, um, this... So this is 9 out of 10. Um, now this one... Well, I'm not going to count these characters, but I'm going to count this. And I really... Uh, yeah, the little ones, like the little sets like this one and this one. Uh, the sets um, like this, 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 which literally has nothing in hidden side, but it still looks spooky. Um, and that, which isn't hidden side as well. Um, those are all going to be... 1 out of 5 to 5 out of 5. Oh my god. That's how long I've been recording for. So anyway, guys, um, I'm going to do a part 2 of this. Um, I'm just going to quickly... Um, so, this is um, 5 out of 5. This can be 4 out of 5, like if you added a grass template. And this is, um, well... This is just... Uh, this is a character, so I'm not even going to rate this. Um, I'm just going to rate this... Um, well, I don't know. I'm not even going to rate that. So, goodbye, guys. See you in the next bit. Oh, yeah, this thing. Um, I'll rate that. Um, wait, again, the same thing with this. It could have, like, a sand template. So, bye.